Dear friend, welcome to a new video in my fishion improvement series. I want to share with you how you can measure your own refraction error. I've got this question more often, so I wanted to answer it in a brief video. Now, if you're nearsighted, how far you can see determines your refraction error. If your vision is what they call 20-20 vision, so you can see 20 feet of 20 feet, then your refraction is zero, your refraction error is zero. If you're nearsighted, then you cannot see well at that distance and something has to be closer in order to be able to see it well. If you see for only one meter, so everything is really sharp, up to the point of one meter, you can divide one by one and your refraction error is minus one. So you can divide by the amount of distance that you can see. So if you can only see for 10 centimeters, then you have one divided by one tenth, which is a refraction error of minus 10. This is as simple as it is. And if your eyes um, are not the same, then you can use one eye uh, and check the other eye as well. Now, if you have astigmatism, this means that it's not the refraction error is not even um, vertically and horizontally. So there might be a difference in when you start seeing well um, on a vertical axis or on a horizontal plane, or it's, it can be curved any way around because you can have the tension on your eye more. Um, uh, over here or more over here and it can differ per person and per moment So yeah, this is how you can measure your own refraction error as you may notice Because it works by dividing up close the differences in distance are all very small and with the lower refraction errors the distances are very large so if it's if you can see two meters, then you only have minus a half. But if you have 40 centimeters, you're, you may think this is not a big difference with seeing up to here. But if it's 20 centimeters and 40 centimeters respectively, then it's minus two and a half versus minus five. So the difference is actually pretty big. I hope this helps you in determining how well you're seeing at the moment. It is so that for most people, different situations and different things affect the refraction error. So maybe you might not see text sharp, but you might see something else at the distance very sharp at the same time. So you can just look over there and see this, but not see that. Um, and you'll see how um, unstable a refraction error really is. Also, if you lie or if you are in a new situation, if something is stressful in some way, if you need to pee, for instance, <laughs> you might be more nervous than normal. Uh, it might show that your refraction error is worse at the time. So good luck with measuring your own refraction error. Um, have fun with it. You can test it at different moments if you want to, but don't focus on it too much because it's not about your refraction error. In the end, it's about being able to function and being relaxed in the moment. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. Leave any comments you have below and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about vision improvement. Thank you for watching. Bye!